Welcome once again to our discussion today. We are looking at KCSE 2021, question number 27, Biology Paper 1. The diagram below illustrates a set of biological processes in a green plant. We have the green plant undergoing process M, process N, sorry, to form polysaccharide P. And the polysaccharide P undergoes hydrolysis to form glucose. Glucose undergoes anaerobic respiration to form compound Q. We are told to name process N, then polysaccharide P, before we look at question B and C respectively. From the green plants, we have polysaccharide. This is the complex uh, carbohydrate in plants. And remember, plants make their own food through the process known as photosynthesis. And therefore, process N is going to be photosynthesis. We move down to Roman 2, we are supposed to identify the polysaccharide P. The polysaccharide P, which is present as stored food in plants, we call it starch. Starch is one of the complex carbohydrates, which is a polysaccharide. We move down to part B of that question. Remember, the polysaccharide P undergoes hydrolysis, which is the breakdown of the complex carbohydrate, which is starch into glucose. Then glucose undergoes anaerobic respiration, which is the oxidation of food without the use of oxygen, forming a compound in plants which we call pyruvic acid. Then part B asks, state two conditions necessary for the formation of q remember q is a compound known as pyruvic acid which is formed due to anaerobic respiration so one of the conditions under which q will be formed one it is formed in the absence of oxygen then number two it is formed in the presence of respiratory enzymes. Then we move to part C. Stage 2 environmental conditions necessary for process N to take place. We have already identified process N as photosynthesis. And for photosynthesis to take place, 1. It has to take place in the presence of sunlight. Presence of sunlight. It has to take place when there is water. Water is one of the environmental conditions necessary for this process. Then we have carbon four oxide is also required. We can also talk about optimum temperature. All these are the conditions necessary for photosynthesis to take place. Thank you for watching and welcome to our discussions. And in case you are watching this channel for the first time, please take one second and click the subscribe button so that any time we produce a video like this, you will automatically be given a notification.